If you have been following along in my adventures here, you will know that one week ago, or it's actually less than a week uh, when I'm filming this, but when you're seeing this, uh, one week ago, I challenged myself to the Evelyn Wood sewing challenge, and I challenged you to as well. I was feeling very, I was not making time for sewing. Uh, basically, you know, we always have either no time, money, or motivation. And so I decided to declare myself a challenge and actually get some uh, refashions. I was going to do something that I already have, I don't have to spend money on, uh, or garment renovations as I like to call them. Uh, get, you know, a few pieces done in one week and then be here now and show you all of my uh, makes and new clothing that I now have in my wardrobe. So I'm obviously not there yet. This video is going to be on this little dress number into a skirt. Now I have decided, I have picked, uh, I've got three different items here. I have uh, this top, I'm going to make a little Edwardian blouse and this gorgeous red dress that everybody loved will be taken in and tailored and made to actually look really nice. I'm going to actually cut each of my um, segments, my, my pieces that I'm doing into separate videos. Okay, first up, this one, oh, I only just found this the other day and the print is actually woven into the um, the fabric here which is just lovely. You know these are my colours. It's going to be fantastic. So it's really long. It is a terrible as a dress. I don't know if that's definitely not going to fit me but I thought a skirt. So just what is the plan here? Well, first of all I thought you know what I'll just cut this off here and then add a casing and have an elastic waist uh, skirt. And then I thought, well, maybe I could make this way more complicated than it has to be. And maybe I could do something fancy with this sharing at the back and maybe keep it there and sort of fold this over and put a new elastic piece up the top and then create a waistband through here and make this all come in like this. And then I thought, that's crazy. Just slow down. <laughs> this is supposed to be a nice, quick, easy win. That's what I'm going for. And this is all, uh, I don't even know if all that would work. I'm sticking with plan A. What I'm going to do is actually just cut this along here, open it out. I've got some elastic, a nice wide elastic, and I'm going to make a nice casing through here. I'm going to have a little bit of a frill to my casing up the top, keep it a nice elastic. I'm going to shorten this hem a little bit and hopefully, I'll see if I have something to make some kind of pockets in here and that will come at the end. So first up I'm going to cheat and I'm just going to cut off uh, the bodice from the skirt to release it. There's no point unpicking it, just chopping it. Ironing it out and trimming it off smoothly so I'm ready to actually start a casing. Well I thought I'd better try it on first. Now I think I have two choices. <laughs> uh, one, keep it as is, gather it in and have a big, big sort of um, you know, floaty, gathered, full, full sort of looking skirt. But my original idea was that it would be more A-line and having it a bit more streamlined and then just gathered so that I can have a little sort of peplum over the top. <sighs> Decisions. So before I do anything with the casing, I am going to actually make this more A-line and a little bit slimmer in nature over the hips so I get that A-line look. So I've just measured an approximate amount at the hips I want to take it in and then I will try again once more. Yeah, okay, a fair bit more. All right. Okay, much, much better. Uh, this is looking nice and neat. Uh, I still want a bit of room because I want this to be a nice comfortable skirt. I'm going to go ahead and now trim off all the seam allowances, finish the edges and now work on my casing. While I'm just waiting for my iron to heat up, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and now actually prepare and sew my casing as you normally would. And just a little note for my special members of Vintage Sewing School is that you already know how to do this. So uh, last month we did a tutorial, remember, on the pajama party pants in the casing. It is exactly the same, just need to, like, you have the same amount on a skirt like this, for example, insert your casing just as I show you in the tutorial in that lesson, okay? And this top edge of this waistline is a perfect example of where you should stay stitch. Remember uh, this video here on stay stitching? This is an example of where you should. I didn't. I know, this is where I'd say, Sometimes I skip it only because I know I was very, very mindful of what I was doing when I'm trying this on and off and I sort of, I knew I could get away with it. But 
when you're beginning, stay stitch. So trying it on again one more time, the elastic waist is a perfect fit. So I can just uh, finish off the casing and that will be done. But it's missing one critical thing. Pockets! Of course it's missing pockets! <laughs> so this must be rectified of course. At first I was playing around with maybe little uh, doily-esque, you know, having a little like patch pocket like this, but then I remembered that of course I actually have the bodice left over. So I'm going to do something. I'm somehow going to create pockets out of this. First of all, I'm going to deconstruct these pieces into two that match, and then I'll work out a pocket shape that I can work with from there. So after much fussing around, I think I've come up with a great solution to make pockets. I think it's actually one of the best ideas that I've ever had. So I'm using the front piece here. This used to be the center front and then tie up. So I'm actually still kind of replicating that. So what I'm going to do is edge um, these, use the existing edge along here, fold this over so it just comes over to the side seam, roll this over of course as well. And then this though, I'm going to fold over, fold over again, and sew it up to sort of, you know, here, because then it ties up still, and then I'm kind of creating these like funky little, well, you know, tiny little decoration pockets, plus the little tie. How snazzy is that, right? I've completely committed uh, to these pocket tie things because I've like, doubled stitched around corners like little corners on the little stress points so they're not coming off if they pull in a weird way and then of course before i sew the casing closed i will insert my own little label with my name on it uh, as i always do uh, if you're interested in getting your own labels i get mine from the dutch label shop i have for years i recommend them highly they are fantastic there is an actual discount code for you below if you want to get your own and then there's really just those final little finishing touches, uh, sewing back up the hem, just closing that, and uh, a few little threads to snip off, and this is done. Ooh, I'm pretty excited to actually try this on and see what it looks like. So I think these pockets are, they are a brilliant idea. I think I'm really going to adore this uh, beautiful summer skirt. I love how the little tie in the pockets at the front really give it a nice jazzy feel, even over a plain top tucked in will give it a really, really nice finish. Unfortunately, they're not very big pockets and basically just ornamental, but that's okay. Pockets are pockets. The only thing that I would really do differently next time is in my haste to get this done, even though I measured and checked and it was very complicated, I've ended up with one pocket a bit lopsided. So just don't tell everybody on the internet and no one will probably notice. Though I probably will unpick that later. <laughs> I think the best thing about this has been that uh, I've actually got some new clothes to wear. Uh, this was the Evelyn Wood Sewing Challenge and uh, you all have just astounded me by joining in and have really like it's so wonderful to see so many of you sort of setting yourself those goals and challenges to actually make the time make the effort be inspired to do some sewing yourself and then have some great outfits out of it we all have so many nice outfits this week which is so exciting so thank you all so very much for watching and stay tuned for the other refashions coming up very soon there's links down below to all of those until next time my friends happy sewing bye